All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to place decimals and fractions onto a number line. And I've got this little applet that I've created that's going to randomly generate some decimals and some fractions over here. And we're going to place them on this number line, which for this lesson is just limited from 0 to 1. So nothing less than 0, nothing more than 1 is going to be need to be placed. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to place this decimal. Now where does this decimal go on the number line from 0 to 1? Well, it helps to understand what the decimal means in the first place. So this 5 means the distance from 0 to 1 has been cut up into 10 equal sized pieces and we're going to move over 5 of those pieces. So we can see right now we have 1, 2, 3, four, five, six, and we need to have ten. So seven, eight, nine, ten. So now we have ten equal sized pieces and we're going to move over five of them. One, two, three, four, five. Perhaps not so surprising, that puts us right in the middle. Now this eight means the distance from here to here. This is point five, this is point six. So the distance from 5 to 6 has been cut up into 10 equal sized pieces and we're going to move over 8 of them. So we know half is 5, so that's 0.55 and we're going to move over a little bit more and if we want to see how we did we just click the show the decimal answer. Boom! Hey, I was pretty darn close. Alright, now we're going to place the fraction. Well, what does 1 8 mean? Well, the fraction 1 8 means the distance from 0 to 1 has been cut into 8 equal sized pieces. That's what the denominator 8 means. And we need to move over one of those pieces, and that's what the numerator 1 means. So we're going to take our intervals, and I'm going to drop it down to 8 equal sized pieces. Let's make sure. So here's 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and we're going to move over one of those pieces and that's one eighth and if we want to see yeah, woohoo! I nailed it and so if we wanted to know which number was bigger 0.58 or one eighth because 0.58 is to the right that means 0.58 is larger than one eighth let's do this one so we have two numbers 0.15 and two ninths and really off the top of my head it's kind of hard to know which one's bigger. So let's place them on the number line to find out. So 0.15, let's place that one first. The one is the tenths place so that first means we need to cut this into ten equal sized pieces and we currently have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we need ten, so seven, eight, nine, ten. And so there's 0.1 now that 5 right here means we need to go halfway between the point 0.1 and the point 0.2. And so there's our 0.15 and let's see how accurate we were. Ah, pretty darn close. Okay, a little bit better. There, a little bit. All right, and now the 2 ninths. So the 2 ninths means the denominator of 9 means we need 9 equal intervals. So boom, there's our 9 equal intervals. Here's 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and we need to move over two of them. 1, 2, and that's because the numerator is 2. And uh, let's get that right there, and if we want to check our answer, boom, sure enough. So if this is where 0.15 lives, and this is where 2 ninths lives, we now know that 2 ninths is larger than 0.15, and we also have learned how to place decimals and fractions on the number line.